Hey, God Fox here. Today, we are going to look through the 4th of July promotion, look through some of the players, the packs, and uh, open some pro packs at the end to see our drop rate for the uh, items. So, the items right away, let's go to the sets first and talk through those. Uh, the 4th of July set. So, these packs today are out for one day, and we'll get them into a little bit, talking about the value of them in a little bit. Before this fireworks sets, you get to add the batch of the set to earn one guaranteed team firework collectible. That's a good way. If there's any rare collectibles, uh, might be a good way to convert over. I'm not sure, though. I went through the AFC. It looks like only the Browns were going for more than uh, the other teams at the moment. We can go back through. I, I cycled through all of these. We'll go back to the Browns. Most of them are around 6K, 5K to 6K and dropping. And I'd expect them to drop more through the week, so... Uh, Brown, the Browns, just a couple minutes ago, I saw it at 16.5. It looks like uh, in the last 15 minutes since I looked, they have dropped down to 13. And I, I, I'm not sure that EA would make the variable drop rates, but I always get nervous with sets that have specific requirements for collectibles that some might be more rare than the others. But, you know, if you make the Browns, actually, everybody feels bad for the Browns. So I think maybe if they were the rare collectible, nobody would feel too gypped. I mean, if I were a Bengals or, hey, a Steelers fan, I wouldn't be mad at my division rival the browns getting it so um so right now i don't know if there's any reason to do the fireworks trade in um, because it does cost an extra badge uh, to do the uh well no it doesn't add the fourth of july but i just set to earn a pack that gets one guaranteed team firework collectible so this is from the solo i think uh, i was talking about the collectible trade in my bad guys um you you add a badge from the fireworks and then the gold badge to get a different one not nah, not really worth it that's four thousand coins that I don't think will net you much. Uh, AFC stars, so you put one, you had 16 AFC title, like a team firework collectibles, turn one random AFC elite 4th of July star. So that's um, basically, we'll go into the players now. Uh, there's a there's a big range of possibilities. You could really die from that set at 5K a piece. I mean, really, you wouldn't want to do this. It's, it's going to be a net loss if you do that set, like most of these exciting sets are, as you've seen in my How to Lose Money and Mad and Mutt, 16 don't do sets if they're fun um, only do sets if it you know requires because you know you're gonna lose money if you do things for fun and what um about if if watch the video if you don't get my point right there this whatever budget okay block sheds really low bad d tackle uh robust things so these things this uh these cards 94 95s you're gonna lose a lot of coins because three collectibles cost that much i would just wait for other people to pull cards and just try and buy these cards for less. Like, there's a few that are um, pretty good budget players. Uh, all these cards are okay. The Jordan Matthews I saw, I think he's actually going for quite a bit more than his overall would have him at 95 overall. Uh, here's a Jordan Matthews. He's going for 139 basically because of 99 speed. So if you can get this Matthews card for a good price, I don't know, take a look at that. 99 speed is very valuable. Uh, speed is the most overpowered stat in the game. We'll go through, take a look at a couple of the guys. McDonald here. Um, I don't know how much, how I don't know how interested you guys are on the mid level, mid tier guys. This Ebron is really cool, a 95 speed tight end. That's pretty nice. Um, so I can take away my Fitzgerald from tight end. His run block's only 71, so he's basically a pushover there. Ron Parker I like a lot as a budget car, but he's not really budget at the moment. 96 speed, play and zone are solid. Uh, might be a pass at that price. A lot better. This Aaron Rodgers here, 99. We got it. Uh, a lot of people complained about Aaron Rodgers being not a 99 for a long time. 85 speed. Amazing throwing stats. Basically everything you want. Uh, throw on the runs, 94. I don't know. What do you guys think of this card? Definitely not worth almost a million coins. Watch tomorrow for these. This Dion Buchanan is a great user, of course. Like all of his cards have been 97 speed. He gets really dwarfed by the movers Urban, though. So have you guys seen that card? That one is insane. Uh, 99 speed on the... So this Buchanan's... A, it would be like one of the top users in the game if this recent... And we'll go through the uh, mover set. Um, didn't just come out. Quality. And we'll find... Uh, we'll just type in his name. So all-time Seattle teams are getting quite a quite a boost here. Alright, so this... Urban's only for, going for 405. And I could see that settling for like 100k less than that. Oop, ended. Yeah. That's how a lot of them are at 405 right now. Um, 99 speed. Crazy. Hit power 99. Block shed 97. 99. This is a golden ticket for what? 
a fifth of the price that he would go for if he was actually... I mean, this is like Ultimate Legend Ray Lewis, plus height, plus jump, plus catch. Uh, his catching's 83. We'll take a look at his spec and whatnot. Like, versus that Ray Lewis's spec, if you can... It's all the way down here. Spec at 79, catching Travis at 83. Ray Lewis is like 15. I'm not joking. So this is the best user in Mutt. Somebody I will be picking up this weekend. And the reason I'm not going to pick him up today is because tomorrow we got the Ultimate Legend. So who knows coming out tomorrow. Um, these packs are only up for 20 hours, which makes me expect Ultimate Legend packs tomorrow. And then this is why I also do not buy these 4th of July players today is because Monday there's going to be even better packs on the 4th of July. Like the final blowout, they're going to give us like um, maybe it'll, unless it's like a $100 bundle. But I get you, bet you the topper, like the topper today on these packs is 10 firework collectibles. So that's like, what, 60,000 coins? Uh, maybe 70,000 or more if you can sell them right. But uh, 8 stars and stripe. These stars and stripe bundles, calculate it out. You can maybe make 20k off of this on average, off this bundle. So 700 points for that. Not terrible. Not anything amazing. You know, the black market's obviously better this time of year to get your money from if you go that way. I don't, but... Um, I'm just 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 saying, eight stars and stripes pack bundle, so nothing crazy here. They always do the bad bundle first to get people excited about the because people are so excited to pull packs for the new content to get the high price on these players. So what we're gonna do is pull some pro packs instead, and we're gonna see the drop rate for these collectibles in them. Are you guys still spending money on mutt this late in the year? Are you saving it for 17, 81, and no fireworks. So that is unfortunate for us. Lost some coins there. Not a big deal. If you got 150 points, not a bad idea to get that Fireworks Pro Pack. Are you excited for any of the other cards that came out as we pull through these? Oh, we got a Veteran Pack. Add to set, of course. 79 Sam Shield. So we're still pulling golds. And if my luck continues at this rate, I don't think we'll be pulling many of these Pro Packs. Well, Veteran Pack, that's a pretty good pull in the pack. Good upgrade there. Let's see what we get. Come on, big... Holy shnikes! Woo! 99. Bruce Irvin. I was just drooling over this. This is what? Two weeks in a row I pulled the 99 movers? Damn. Holy crap. So, yeah. We just went through these stats. Wow. Sell now for 400k. Or keep because I bought them. I could probably make some coins here if I sell them to you buy, but I think I'm keeping. Holy crap. Irvin. I mean, let's compare him here to Barr. Whew. Four more speed, four more acceleration. The play wreck if you don't use him that play. Block shed's huge. Wow. I think they're only one inch apart. Two inches apart, actually. But... Good lordy. 99, Bruce Irvin. Oh, Fox got lucky. I'm referring to myself in the third person now. That's when, that's when you know I'm off off my game. Should I just stop pulling after that? Like, should I press my luck? Let's, let's press it. F it. Holy crap. So that was a good pull. Um, wow. I think I pulled... Is that the best card to come out today? Because we haven't seen the master. Um, there's a master that's going to come out. The lawyer Malloy that's on Mudhead. But do you think that card. That, that might be the best card that came out. Even with all the 4th of July. Let me know if you think different in the comments. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo! 94. JR. Packs are hot. Packs are hot. Movers. Wow. Went over the bucks. 84 speed. But. Pass block ain't great. Great for pulling. This is an amazing pulling card. What's his impact block? 92. Jeez. Wow. Packs are on fire. Uh, Let's keep pressing it. If we keep pulling like that, holy crap. That's like the way we're pulling. We're pulling like an expensive prostitute here. That's how good a pulling we are right now. Wow. 99 then a 94. So we're just going to waste some more coins because, you know, uh, at a casino, when you win big, you always press your luck. Uh. Ooh, 
So no collectibles yet, though. So those collectibles might be rare in Pro Packs uh, for 4th of July fireworks. So that may be why the prices are a little higher now. I remember um, with, like, say, other promotions that dropped these, those things in Pro Packs quite a bit, they were a lot cheaper. 84, Koa Macy. All right, we'll pull two more, and then we'll stick with our huge, huge 99 pull. And go drool over him a little bit more before we end the video. Wow. Too bad I don't have Foxy got here to show it in her face how well I pulled. It's always best in life when you got somebody to, you know, talk smack to. That you know, of course. Don't talk to smack to strangers. That's just weird and uncomfortable. Double gold pull, but nothing good. Alright. That's it. We're going to stick with our... Luck, we, we pulled, how many, like, like eight pro packs, maybe? And got the, oh, wait, oh, shoot, I got two other packs to pull. What am I doing? I got Mutt Rewards. Wow. Hashtag lucky. I should I should save these for Ultimate Legends tomorrow. Damn, 93. Nice. So we are pulling some, oh, I got 49 firework, that's, I guess. Bengals Firework, those are guaranteed. I can't get too hyped about them. Akeem, Campus Heroes. Eh, solid. Not great for my team, but we'll finish off the videos because I don't think I'll put out a pack pulling video tomorrow. So we'll do this for you all. Pull all the packs now. Woo, got to sell all these fireworks. Oh, the silver. 94 Griffin, wow. Holy crap. So yeah, they definitely up the odds on these elites later in the year, but... Solid. Well, I hope you guys liked it. I like that. It's a 400,000 coin card I pulled. Thanks for watching, guys. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.